sir. Okay, sir. Yeah, uh, Bruce, I don't know how to start. I, we, I talked to you about a year ago. It was my first time caller, and we talked about the tribe. Then, and at the time, we were in a pennant race, uh, quoting what you would call it. And we talked about, the, I said the Dolans were too cheap to bring a, a batter in. Uh, they were looking for a right-handed hitter. It's been, t- it's been over a year now. How long could it possibly take to get a right-handed batter in? And I'm not talking about Johnny Damon or some has-been. Or Cunningham. Or anybody. What's going on? You know, if they brought, if the Indians would bring in one to two impact players right now, we would, there wouldn't even be a pennant race. We would be definitely in charge. And, you know, they wonder why the fans don't come out. You know, the fans are just tired of this rhetoric. It's always, you know, if they do this, we'll do that. And, if we, and, they, never, and they never come through with what they say. It's just always baloney. Well, uh, you know, you make some, I think you represent a percentage of fans in this market uh, that wholeheartedly agree with that. Um, but uh, you are aware that the Indians um, offered more money to Carlos Beltran, are you not? I, I don't believe it. I just think that. Well, okay. Well, 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 there's no. Well, well, well wait a minute. Well, 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 now wait. When you make that statement, John, when well, no, you make. Well, well, hold on, John. Or, or I'm sorry, Ross. Okay. I'm sorry. Uh, John was the first caller who I cut off because he was a jerk. Uh, but when you make a statement like that, there's no way that we can have a discussion because well, you're you not know? open-minded. Well, how do you know? you because, be, well I, I happen to. I happen to have sources within the Indians organization. I don't do this for kicks, you know, and not uh, have. Okay. So established you sources don't, the, you the fans don't fans know the know fact that. of the matter is ross that i know a lot more than you do sir with all due don't. respect now you can hate me for saying this but when you come on a television show like this and you make these wild accusations and then what what is app and don't believe me Ask Paul Hoynes. Ask some of the. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'll let you. Hold. You have to be put on hold if you try to talk over me. I am the most caller oriented talk show host in the country. Let me inform you about that, Ross. I never, ever have a caller on the air that disagrees with me that I do not give the privilege of coming back. But when you interrupt me and you try to talk over me, you are going to lose big time, sir. You are not qualified to tell me or dictate policy how to do this show. Now, if you want to carry on an intelligent conversation and be open-minded, we will do so. If you're just going to come out and say the Dolans suck, they stink, they don't know what they're doing, they're cheap, they make all these promises, and I don't know what I'm talking about, and Paul Hoynes doesn't know what he's talking about, and Dennis Manloff doesn't know what he's talking about, and Sheldon Oker doesn't know what he's talking about, it's not just my opinion, it's not just my statement that I'm making to you. This is confirmed data information from all of our different sources that all of us happen to know from St. Louis people, from New York people. You don't know. That's the bottom line. So don't come on my show and say that I don't know. No, I'm going to give you a chance to respond. Go ahead. Let's move past Beltrain. Last night, Johnny Damon has the bases loaded. Yeah. Why do you get so upset? Because you said I don't know anything. I didn't say it. I yes, did you did. Say that. Yes, you did. You said that I don't know, and I you are wrong. It is confirmed. Wait a minute, <laughs> Ross. It is confirmed that the Indians offered more money to Beltron. Beltron admitted it. What is the matter with you? He went to St. Louis because he wanted to play for the World Champions. And by the way, the Indians, as you know, offered more money. Oh no! I, why should I say you know? You know more than any of us. They offered more money to Carlos Pena. Whether you want to believe it or not, they offered more money to Carlos Pena. And thank God he decided to go back to Tampa Bay because he stinks. He's only hitting 190. My point is, you know, they had Johnny Damon up there. The bases are loaded. There's nobody out. And he strikes out. We don't need that. We don't need a has-been. Bring in a bona fide hitter. Bring in somebody that's going to show the Cleveland fan that like we're going to put our money where our mouth is and we're going to compete okay. instead of being a lay down. Okay. Bring in these guys in from AAA. Well, and, and, and what did you say about AAA? Bringing in guys from AAA or bringing in guys that are 39 years old 
and they've already had their best year. And, I, and what you said about, I did not say those things you said I said. You're putting words in my mouth. You said, I don't know. I, I said, do I know. know. I said, the fans don't know that they did that. You know they did that. But how does somebody like me know that they Because did- I'm telling you, that's why. Do you work for the Indians? No. Well, you sure act like it. Well, the Paul Hoynes doesn't work for the Indians. He says so the same exact like thing. How do you explain that? How do you explain that, Ross? Get, let's get back to the point. No, Why don't see, they bring you in? are, you know, you can't, you just can't admit that you're wrong on this. I'm you not, know, you are wrong on this. Not, Carlos Beltran wrong. and Carlos Pena both admitted they were offered more money by the Indians okay. and they decided to go their separate ways. Okay. What is the matter with you okay. that that doesn't get into that knucklehead of yours? Okay, I, okay. Relax. You get so upset. Ah, get off the show. Give the guy the benefit of the doubt. And he goes, ah, bah, 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 bah. I'm not going to tolerate that nonsense. If you want to carry on a conversation, fine. But don't come out and say that I don't know what I'm talking about. And by the way, you idiot, to say that I act like I work for the Cleveland Indians. I'm going to show what a stupid ignoramus you are. Who was the first broadcaster and or writer to call for Eric Wedge's job? Who? Dodo, me. If I was a shill or working for the Cleveland Indians, you think I'd have this job? When I called for Eric Wedge's job after we got swept by the Chicago Cubs in Wrigley Field a few years ago, remember that? It was a Sunday. I came on the show that night and called for his job. Bill Livingston of the Cleveland Plain Dealer was the only other member of the Cleveland media to call for Wedge's job, and that came a few days after I did. Yet if I'm working for the Indians or a shill for the Indians, how the heck could I keep this chair? Now, think about that, knucklehead. And I hate doing this. I shouldn't have to do this. But once in a while, an idiot like that calls up and it just doesn't know what they're talking about. And therefore, I'm forced to say this stuff. How about when we lost the game to Toronto and the ball went right through Valbuena's legs and Russell Brannion is going like that? waving at pitches with that beautiful form on the first tee. I go, I was in the booth. That was a home game. I was in the booth. I went absolutely berserk, insane nuts. Little did I know, the next day, the next day, I get a phone call from Seattle, from Chicago, from Phoenix, from Tampa Bay, from radio stations and television stations that wanted to put me on the air. And I said, what do you want me on the air for? Because that made nationwide news. It got on YouTube. There was hundreds of thousands of hits on that. Now, if I'm a shill or, you know, working for, do you think I'd still be in this chair with that, you dodo head? No way. So I'm insulted by your insinuation, you jerk.